China's president went to the epicenter of the outbreak there for the first time since it began more than two months ago. State media reported Xi Jinping flew in to inspect coronavirus control efforts. His visit coincides with the shutdown of the last emergency hospital set up in Wuhan to manage a surge in COVID-19 cases. China announced it had just 19 new cases on Monday, down from 40 the day before. In the U.S., the governor of Washington state is putting new measures in place after a COVID-19 outbreak at a nursing home north of Seattle. All staff and volunteers working at nursing homes and assisted living facilities across Washington state will now be screened for symptoms at the start of each shift. Visitations will be limited and visitors will also be screened as they enter. Other states are also limiting visitors to nursing homes. At least 19 residents at the Life Care Center in Kirkland, Washington State have now died. 55 other residents have tested positive and 21 of them are still at the facility. Across Washington State, there are at least 267 confirmed cases of COVID-19 and 23 deaths. Well, you know, by now the handshake is on hold as COVID-19 continues to spread. So are hugs and kisses and nose rubs. Keep your distance is the new mantra. Tonight, Mike Lacatura looks at the creative ways people are finding to say hello and goodbye. With COVID-19 spreading across the Netherlands, Dutch Prime Minister Mark Rutte announces a countrywide ban on shaking hands and then does this. Oh, sorry, the, sorry, sorry. the country's top doctor points out the mistake, so Rutte asks for a do-over while actually getting closer than a handshake. The royal family, known for being slow to abandon tradition, is instead adjusting. Prince Charles greeting with a bow and pressed hands instead of pressing the flesh, while Prince Harry opted for the forearm bump. Last week, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson refused to shake the handshake. I'm shaking hands continuously. I was at a, I was at a hospital the other night where I think there were, a few, there were actually a few coronavirus uh, patients and I shook hands with everybody. But he's said to be reconsidering the practice. After all, the handshake is such a part of politics. Now, Deputy Prime Minister Christopher Freeland mixed it up at the Ontario Liberal Convention last weekend. <laughs> Ottawa's mayor is still shaking hands as he toured the city's Chinatown to counter some discrimination being felt in that community. And Jim Watson admits these are difficult times. We're in this sort of awkward position. Sometimes people will ha give you a hand and then they'll give you a fist bump and someone's giving me an elbow. So I keep Purell in my car, I keep Purell at my desk and I use it as often as possible. And uh, so far so good. Good advice, according to health officials. I think if you are completely well, then there's not really much risk of shaking some hand that is also well. But sometimes it's hard to know if the other person is healthy or not, which has given birth to the toe tap or foot shake done here by Russia's energy minister and OPEC secretary general. Two members of the Philadelphia 76ers started their own special shake, virtual hand sanitizing. A good option, but instead, they should probably be doing the real thing. Mike LeCouture, Global News, Ottawa.